In this lecture, we will create a document template that meets with all the formatting specifications of the MLA style. We have included various links from accredited sources with such templates as resources for this lecture. You can simply download those, but I would recommend watching this lecture because it will help you understand how to mold these templates to your needs. And of course, with the term your needs, I actually mean your instructor's preferences. Even though the style has some general guidelines, instructors are known to want some alterations to fit their personal preferences. So, your teacher instructions always supersede whatever specification MLA regulated. We will start with the page formatting. We go to the layout tab of the ribbon and change the margins. We need 1 inch margins. The header should be at half inch from the top of the page. Since we are talking about headers, let's format them now. Double click on the header and select different first page. All the headers of the paper should be right aligned. Type your last name followed by a space before the page number. Your instructor may ask that you omit the page number on your first page. Let's go to the font now. Everything must be either in Arial or Times New Roman font. Pick one and stick to it. So first we will change our normal style, which will be the one we will be using for the most part of writing. We right click on the style and select modify. There we select the font. Let's go with Arial and the size which must be 12 points. The paragraph settings are specific as well. All text should have double line spacing and it should be left justified. The first line indent should be half an inch and there should be no extra spaces between paragraphs. Let's talk about the title page of your paper now. An MLA based paper usually does not need one. On the first line of the first page you type your name. On the second line your instructor's name. The next line should contain the course number. And the last line the date. All these lines should be left aligned without any indent and double line spacing. On a new line follows the title Center Aligned. Then you can start to write your paper. If the instructor requires a title page, then you should omit all of the above except the center title of your paper, which now will be on the second page, since the first will be the title page. The title page should follow these guidelines. The font and paragraph settings follow the general specifications of MLA. The first letter of each word should be capitalized. The paragraphs should have no intent and be center aligned. Type the name of your university, college or high school on the first line, then skip to about one third of the page and type your research paper title and include a subtitle if you have on a separate line. Skip several lines down to the lower third and type your name, your course name, your instructor name and your paper due date, each one in separate lines. Keep in mind that in MLA style we use only plain text. Graphic artwork, creative effects, borders, emoticons, word arts or even extra lines are not allowed. This includes any kind of hyphenation which you have to disable. Each sentence should be divided by the next one with the use of a single space. You should also keep in mind that you have to use formal grammar usage and proper spelling, punctuation and language. You can use italics throughout your paper for the titles of longer work. 
You can also use italics to provide emphasis, but only when it is absolutely necessary. All your endnotes should be included on a separate page before your works cited page. To achieve this, you have to enter a section break before the start of your works cited section. This way, all endnotes of your paper will be on the right place. Use the title Notes for this section with center alignment and unformat it. Next, you will have to enter the title Notes and remove the endnote separator. To remove the endnote separator, you have to go to the outline view of the document, show the notes, select the separator and delete it. Lastly, you have to change the EndNote font style to follow the basic MLA requirements. Next, follows the Works Cited section. Word has the appropriate tools to help you enter only the 7th edition of MLA style citations inside your paper. Microsoft Citation Tool covers every aspect of the 7th edition of the MLA style citation. Having cited your paper properly, the creation of the works cited list that follows MLA style regulation is just a click away. At this point, we will talk a bit about the proper way to insert tables and illustrations in your paper. They should be as close as possible to the relevant part of the text. A table is usually labeled as table with Arabic numeral. The title and label of the table should be on top of the table on separate lines. Any notes or citations on the table should be immediately below the table in a caption. The notes should be designated with lowercase letters rather than numerals. It is easier to not use the note insertion options for these kinds of notes since you won't be able to place them there. Any other type of illustrations should be labeled figure, assigned an Arabic numeral and given a caption. The word figure is usually abbreviated. If in their caption a complete information about the source is provided and this particular source is not cited inside the text, then there is no need to have an entry for the source in the works cited list. Now let's save our hard work as a Word template. The next time we want to create an MLA style paper, all we have to do is double click on the file we have just saved and a lot of the trivial work will be done. This concludes our small walkthrough of the major formatting regulations of MLA and how to implement them using Microsoft Word.